Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about the classification of database systems. I am going to classify our database systems based on some characteristics. Right? So, in this video, I am going to explain that classification. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to like the video. And please don't forget to share the video with your friends. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of classification of DBMS. So I can classify DBMS based on the data model. What is, what is the type of data model I am going to use? Based on the type of data model, I can classify the DBMS. For example, uh, Commercial DBMS, example relational data model, object data model, right? So if I use a, a relational data model, then I can call that as a relational DBMS. If I use a object data model, then I can use it as a ob uh, object DBMS. If I use a hierarchical data model, then I can use it as a hierarchical DBMS. If I use a network data model, then I can uh, call it as a network dbms getting guys based on the data model i can classify my dbms into different varieties right so uh, hope you are understanding right so if i use relational data model it's a relational dbms if it's a if i if i am going to use a object uh, data model then it is a object oriented dbms if i use a hierarchical that is tree structure then it is a uh, hierarchical data based DBMS. If I use a nodes that is network data models, then it is a network DBMS. Based on the data model, also I can classify my DBM, DBMS into four types. And based on the number of users, right? Single user system support only one user at a time, right? Multiple user system, which includes majority of the DBMS, supports concurrent processing. That means if uh, only one user using the DBMS, I can call it as a single user DBMS. If multiple users are using the DBMS simultaneously, I can call it as a right uh, multiple user DBMS. Based on the number of users also, I can classify my DBMS into two types, single user DBMS or multiple user DBMS. Right? So single user DBMS mainly used uh, for personal use. Right, multiple user system means I can give uh, whatever the database we are using today. Ninety-nine percent of the databases are multi-user databases. Right. Next, number of sites based on the architecture. Also, I can classify my DBMS into right uh, four types. For example, I, I can classify my DBMS as a centralized DBMS if I am using a centralized architecture. Here the data is stored at a single computer, right? Our terminals can access that uh, single computer for the data. Distributed DBMS means DBMS software distributed over many sites, right? It is not uh, DBMS uh, is not at all located in a single computer now. Distributed means it can be distributed over so many sites. Next, homogeneous DBMS means use the same DBMS software at all the sites. You can store your data DBM. Uh, you can store your DBMS at different different uh, uh, places, different different sites. But you are using the same DBMS software. For example, if you are using a uh, MySQL, right? MySQL uh, software in every site, then it's a homogeneous. Or if you are using a Oracle software at every site, then it's a homogeneous. You should use only. Uh, you should use same software on every sites then it's a homogeneous DBMS. Heterogeneous DBMS means you can use different different DBMS software at each site. At each site. For example, for one site you can use Oracle or for one site you can use MySQL. It is also possible. Then I can call DBMS as a heterogeneous DBMS. So based on the number of sites, I can you uh, call the DB, uh, I can divide or I can classify my DBMS into four types. Centralized DBMS, that means only you are using a one uh, computer one centralized database next distributed dbms next homogeneous next heterogeneous right hope you are understanding guys 
if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section and based on the cost also i can divide by dbms into two types so if there is no cost if it's uh, free if your dbms is free then it is uh, then i can uh, call it as a open source dbms example mysql right and if i want to pay cost if i want to right uh, use the database by paying the money then i can call it as a right uh, proprietary dbms proprietary dbms means you should purchase the license you should purchase the license so based on the cost your dbms can be free also or it can be or it can be proprietary also next based on the types of access path i can divide my dbms right for example uh based on the access for inverted file structures right if you are using a inverted file structure right the it is a one type of dbms for dbms uh, if i am using access path like general purpose or special purpose right or uh, it can be also due to online transaction processing system you can see there what type of access path uh, i am using based on the access path i can divide my or i can classify my dbms into general purpose special purpose or oltp system general purpose means it, uh, it can't be customized special purpose means it can be customized according to your needs online transaction processing means you can see there examples are e-commerce e-commerce right related databases